Seriously, you're not gonna bark? Thank you, God! Hey everybody! <laughs> it's Stephanie Old World Gamer, and welcome back to another episode of Quest of the Fire Lands. It's been a while, but hopefully some of that's gonna change. But uh, let's just get uh, through some of our... Oh, creeper. Oh, creeper. Okay, let's just run this way. Might have been a dungeon or a, a spawner there. I don't know. I'm more afraid of the creepers. So yes, welcome to Quest of the Firelands, the the series where we walk twelve and a half million blocks away from spawn, and it should take like twenty years. And at the rate that I'm going, it'll take about fifty, and I'll be about eighty-five by the time we're done. So that sounds good. Eighty-five-year-old old world gamer. I'll be like super old world gamer. So, um, but yes, uh, <laughs> it's Quest of the Firelands, uh, so yeah, we're basically walking to, uh, where the offset of the blocks, as you can see here, ooh, whoa, more noticeable than before, <laughs> alright, so right there in the corner, you can see it a little bit better, that um, we're having some some slow block offset, and basically when the offset goes to one full block, that's when you get quest to the Firelands, and um, or that's when you get the Firelands, which is a fragmented segmented place. So I always tell people about this instead of all these episodes, just because you know maybe you're new, maybe you need to know like what the hell's a Firelands? What's he doing? This is boring. He's just walking forever. Well, now you know. Now you know. Anyways, I'm the Old World Gamer. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, basically, uh, I, I've been talking to a few people to, uh, about, you know, hey, should I stop doing this? Should I get rid of this series? Uh, that kind of thing. What do you like about these series, that series? And some of my closer friend, watch or viewer people, um, <laughs> excuse me. They told me that they were really big fans of this um, series just for the fact. I don't know what that was. It's probably a cow. It was a cow. Okay, so yeah, I've had a lot of them tell me that they actually enjoy this series just for the fact that they get to find out a little bit more about me. They get to to know things about me. That is a very dark cave. As is that one. Oh my lord. No, 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 hops. Don't go in there. Jesus. Uh, uh, you go in, I'm not running after you. I know I will, but don't, because I don't want to run in there. Anyway, so, yeah, uh, I figured I'm just going to keep going with it. I'm just going to keep using the same random topics and things until people start providing them themselves, because, I mean, people say they enjoy... What, ooh, what's a huge ass tree. People say they enjoy watching this series to, to find out more about me, but no one ever asks me any questions. No one ever provides any topics that they'd like to hear my, my, my thoughts or input or whatever on. So, how are we doing for... Ooh. Almost a stack. I, I, I mean, you are in a nice warm biome. I can take your clothing. Thank you, sir. <laughs> And I cannot shave chickens. I can attempt to, but it's gonna turn out bad. Oh god, that's gonna be so gross to just shaving feathers. Jesus. I've always wondered about that. Like, I know that feathers fall out just like hair falls out of us, and that, you know, the bottom part of the feather. Or, uh, what is it? The quill, is it? Um, yeah, I know that, uh, you know, they, they come out of birds just like our hair comes out of our own head. And that the quill is equal to the, the, the root of the hair, I guess, from our head. Have you ever pulled the hair out of your head? It hurts like hell. So I'm assuming that doing the same thing to a bird probably does hurt. Like, I'm sure the feathers that they lose are just, like, either molting or, you know, it was just a bigger one that was loose. Maybe they were fighting with another bird or something. Um, excuse me? Excuse me? Can you guys stop, like, this is one, this is one block deep, and you guys are, like, trying to hump each other. Stop squid. Look at this! There's another one going on over here. You guys are crazy. At least you guys have deeper water, kind of. Oh, my lord. Uh, all right, all right. And we're going to leave that disgusting scene of squids trying to have 
you know, doing things to each other. Huh. This is a very fragmented, seg segmented, uh, segmented place. It's all like random blocks and crap. <clears throat> so anyways, uh, I guess, what's new with me? Well, the biggest thing that I'm going to be working on right now is, uh, um, as, as always, my channels. It's pretty much what I do when I'm not working. And as you can tell, I'm starting to get a little stuffed up or something as well. But, uh, yeah, no, YouTube and making videos and playing video games is, like, my only thing to do right now outside of working and, you know, hanging out with my girlfriend. Uh, I mean, I don't go out of my way to do many other things just because there's only so much time you have in the run of a day. And Basically, I'm trying to make my channel uh, a little bit better than what it was. Um... And by constantly evolving it until I find something that works. And to, until Darwin says, you're done. You do not need to evolve anymore. Your channel is good. It will survive. That's what I'm looking for. And <clears throat> so far it hasn't been easy. I've had uh, mixed feelings, mixed thoughts on pretty much anything and everything that has happened. And... Um, Alright. Hmm. Alright, so, um, yeah, so, uh, uh, things have been changed. I've, I've changed quite a few things on my own. And then there's been a few things that, um, that, that uh, I've taken suggestion from other people like uh, I thought about stopping this series and like I said because people said that it's one of their favorite ways of getting to learn and know more about me um, you know because po possibly they don't have time to have conversations perhaps they don't think about asking those types of things I don't know but um, so yeah that alone made me just say you know what if people are, are <laughs> finding out a little bit more about me and getting to know me better and you know more or less there's a reason to keep the series and fine I'll keep it no problem at all so I am obviously but uh, I've also started doing up a recording uh, schedule and uh, <coughs> God I don't know what's wrong with me this morning Look, I have crap in my throat uh, uh. Anyways, what? You did that on purpose. You're not getting no, no, no. I'm not getting you no steak. Don't even. I don't care. You're not getting no pork chops today, sir. Not when you're doing that kind of crap. Um. Uh, oh, I hear skeletons. So let's keep going. Let's run. Let's get out of here. We're a dream motor. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to be keeping this series. Uh, another thing I had talked about to people was that, uh, hey, I, I don't get much in regards to views or comments whatsoever, or even likes on my cooking videos. So maybe I should stop those. And then people are all like, no, we like those. I'm just like, if you like them, can you hit, like, seriously, you clicked on the friggin' video. Can you, can you just one extra click? Just click the like button. That's all I ask. I don't know why people would watch anyways. I mean, and I'm not saying that, that you have to click the like button. I'm just saying, like, if you enjoyed it and you want to support me without giving me things or money or whatever, just hit a like button. It's literally one extra click. It's it's moving your, your index finger downward in one quick motion once. That's all you have to do. But, no, it's just... Some people just don't even want to do that. They're just like, no. I can't be bothered to, to click on stuff, man. God, you can't you can't expect people to have to do that all the time. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, but no, again, because people said that, hey, you know what? You're only doing it once in a while. Uh, people do enjoy it. Uh, maybe, maybe you should keep it going. So... so 
Thank you. And the other thing is, we're gonna need, yeah, we're gonna need some um, wood soon. <laughs> oh, I thought that was you down there. I guess it was the cow. Anyways, we're getting a lovely sunset. I'll see you all in the morning. Quiet, you. And we are awake again. So yeah, I, I've been working on this calendar, an online one through Google. That uh, basically first, and I think I might have mentioned this in the last episode of Quest of the Far Lands, that uh, I was doing it with uh, the Shirt Boys too. And uh, well, one it, one thing happened, which was um, uh, he, he left uh, on a... Uh, on an emergency, which uh, I didn't really hear much about after he had this quote-unquote emergency. And again, if he did, fine. I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with, you know, if anyone's working with me, then if they have stuff to, you know, something happens, something happens. I completely understand. But, <coughs> Stu, Stu's the type of guy to let you know exactly what happened. And this time he didn't. So it makes me wonder if he, he may, may have been... Uh, Telling a small fib so that uh, he, he, you know, wouldn't feel so bad. And I know lots of people do that. I'm sure I've done it more than enough myself. But uh, didn't really hear much back on that. And I think I said in the last episode as well of Quest of the Firelands is that, um, one second. I'm pretty sure I said in um, the last episode that... Uh, it doesn't make much sense that we're doing a calendar together because I don't want him to edit my calendar. I, I, I know this might sound like an asshole thing to say, but I really don't care what he's doing. I don't care if he's going on a date. That's the least of my worries. That doesn't stop me from doing my work. So therefore, I don't know why I kind of included him on the calendar. So I kind of took all my tentative stuff and moved it from that calendar to my own. And... Um, Wow, that's like a perfect little cove right there, isn't it? And uh, I started ma building up my own calendar and going from there. And uh, basically what we were doing, we were doing it on a week basis. So like w one week we'd have everything done up and then we wait for it all to happen. Then we plan it all out another week. Well, guess what? did not work as well because stuff kept happening, etc., etc., and uh, I'm the type of person that I do like to plan things out as best as possible, as much as possible. It's about time I started using a calendar for one thing. <coughs> so, yeah, so that that was what's going Another squid party. There's so many squid parties going on. So that's basically what happened there. And, yeah, it looks like we are making landfall. So, yeah, I've started doing my own thing. Um, I have new shows going on. Uh, one thing that really um, changed my mind about how I was doing this uh, schedule and stuff. Oh, right click. Durr. So one thing that uh, was, was bugging me was that, uh, you know, I wasn't getting as much input from people. And... Um, one thing that, uh, that that gives me inspiration is when I get some kind of confidence boost from someone who I watch or someone who, you know, I have respect for in the YouTube community that's more along the lines of, you know, the same size channel as myself. And um, actually, this guy's after surpassing me by a long shot because, one, he's funnier, and two... Um, he dedicated himself to doing what he was good at, and it worked out well. And I mean, he still plays lots of retro games and stuff too. And that's actually, I'm pretty sure that's almost all he plays is retro games. But uh, benevolent Dick, in case you guys are looking for him, um, I've told a couple people about him, and no one seems to fucking listen to me. No one seems to want to check him out because I guess they think that oh, it's some stupid thing that someone wants to watch. It's like, listen, it's not a fucking video meme on fucking Facebook that your mom put up there, okay? <laughs> I, I'm If I'm shedding out a channel, there's a pretty good fucking reason for it. Um, I enjoy his humor. He's funny. He, he knows what he's doing. So, uh, his most recent review, the Pizza Pops one, was not as good as some of the more recent ones that he's done. Ooh, now I'm yawning? Jesus, I only just woke up. I'm, I'm, it's literally... 
Ten after set. Oh. Not gonna lie, that was slightly scary. Stop pushing me, you shithead. Jesus. So I'm not gonna lie, that scared me a lot. I thought for sure I was going to die then. Um, that was not the case, thankfully. I did take some damage though, so I should probably eat some pork. <laughs> Um, there we go. More healthy. So, yeah, I've been doing this calendar thing, and so far, uh, since I've started doing my own calendar without anybody else putting their own crap on there or whatever, it's been working out pretty good. Um, the original thought behind it was being able to put up my work schedule so that people can no longer complain or say that, Oh, you didn't tell me if you were working, I don't know when you're off. It's like, well, here's the calendar. Yes, you do. <coughs> That's pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. So, uh, so yeah, so... Yeah, it was more or less so that people could see when I'm working, when I'm off, when they could schedule to do things with me if they wanted to. <laughs> but um, even then, like I said, having someone else schedule stuff in on your calendar just it feel felt really awkward to me. I just I was not digging it, and uh, so yeah, I, I removed all of it, put it on my own calendar, and so far that's been working out fairly well for me. The only thing I missed out on was. Um, it was a weekly vlog last night, which I'm actually doing tonight. Um, only for the fact that, one, I was super tired from work, and I'm sure that's going to happen more often than I think. That's why I have a calendar, so I can change things to suit my needs as best as I can. That's why it's a personal calendar. But um, <clears throat> I also know that, uh, like I have for tonight, I'm, I've scheduled recording time for me and Robin. Well, Robin works tonight. That's the other thing. I don't have her schedule. Her schedule is not planned out months in advance like mine is. Her schedule is planned literally once a week, and that's it. So um, you kind of got to take it as it is. <clears throat> so I'm sure it's going to change a lot uh, throughout the months, but uh, I'm hoping that for the m most point, the main point will stick, and that is getting quality content that I want on my channel there on a more regular basis so uh, uh oh oh god that's some deep water holy crap that is some super deep water I'm not gonna lie that 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 seems scary deep like usually you can see the bottom but man All right. So I'm gonna catch up on the weekly vlog tonight, and uh, I guess um, the other thing is that the recording times that I have for a lot of these shows and series that I've planned <laughs> is that I can record more than one episode for each slot of time, which means that if something does happen, whether I'm tired, an emergency, I get sick, whatever, if something does happen and I have to miss a day or a week, then I should have more than enough content to cover me for that week and not have to worry about it. That's how this schedule is working. Um, to cover all the series and shows that I want to do, that should be done, the, the ones that I know I can do. To schedule up the editing, uploading, thumbnail creation. Um, I mean, there's, there's everything that, that I can possibly think of. Um, uh, on this calendar just so I can more easily you know sustain myself and I've even you know made times that I, I eat <laughs> because a lot of times when I'm gaming or, or just even on the computer I miss meals because if I'm home alone I don't bother I was just like okay well if I'm home alone I don't need to take out a roast of beef to feed me and myself and you know that's it and 
Oh, we can have leftovers. Yeah, but then leftovers for what? For for myself again? I don't know. <clears throat> so, anyways, I, uh, I I decided to put in times for me to be able to stop and get breakfast and eat. How bad is he gonna do this? Oh, he teleported down there. Um, so yeah, I gave myself times to eat. I gave myself times to hang out with Robin, uh, and just have free time to do whatever. Um, my mornings always start at 6.30, the earliest, always end at 11 o'clock, I think 12 is the latest, but only for some very rare instances where I had to use the time, but for the most part, almost every day ends at 11, so, I mean, I don't think that's too bad, I think that's a pretty good, uh, I think that's a pretty good way of keeping things balanced, uh, so I'm, I'm basically gonna trial run this calendar that's why i'm not really showing it to anyone that's why i'm not sharing it with anyone just yet uh it's for the fact that uh, i want to make sure that it works for me and when it works for me then i can show people then they can say oh well want to record this and i'm like i can slide it in see you in the morning <laughs> oh god so yeah um so that that's basically the whole plan behind the calendar is to just straighten things away and just make myself feel happier about the content that I have made so I really wish I can get over this uh, this sniff holy crap hops kill it kill it oh look at him <laughs> he gets all bouncy and shit all right come here come here hey stop hops hop there Jesus Try to give your poor dog a friggin' bit of meat and he's all like, well, I'm gonna dance around and stuff. <sighs> I feel bad. Really? Here you go, buddy. You can get out there now. I know how it is to be stuck in a hole you don't want to be into. Stuck in a hole, eating skin, bat, and boo. Oh, I'm sorry, that's, that's my house and chain. <laughs> Not really, it's, it's more like, uh, what, what, what's that word? Being like the scat man. And no, I don't mean the guy who eats poop, so stop. Fucking internet. And so, I guess, I, I might as well give you guys a rundown on, uh, <coughs> What I have planned, obviously, to do for my across my four channels. Not three, Game Hunter. I know you're not watching. Not three channels, four. <laughs> I have my usual channel, this channel, Minecraft channel, um, cooking channel, and the vlog channel. So, um, starting, I guess, with the easiest one to get through, the vlog channel. I'm doing a weekly vlog. Um... These vlogs aren't going to be terribly long by any means. Um, they're also going to be, it's not like vlog one, vlog two, three, four, five, six, no, no. We're not counting them up like that. We're just putting dates on it and that's it. If people want to look up, you know, want to count them out and see what numbers they are, give her. I don't care, but. Yawning. <sighs> Excuse me. But, uh, yeah, no, I, I, I can't be bothered with that. I think it's a kind of a dumber way of trying to, you know, count how many blogs you've done. Ooh, who cares? Just do it and be happy that you've done it. Like, is the number, like, the number itself is pretty arbitrary, at least in my opinion. <laughs> I don't even know where you are. Jesus. Oh, there they are. Okay. Um, looks like we have to go all the way over here, or all the way over there. So yeah, I'm doing a weekly vlog, and, uh, on the vlog channel, and that's pretty much it for that channel. Um, the second channel, with the least amount of, uh, content going on, it would be the cooking channel. Because, as I said, uh, I actually asked people, like, hey, should I just get rid of this and focus more on my gaming? I swear to God, dog. I swear to God. Uh, anyways, <laughs> as I was saying, cooking channel. Uh, instead of trying to do like a recipe once a week or a couple recipes a couple times a week, I'm doing one meal recipe per month. 
So a monthly meal recipe, you get a monthly dessert recipe, and we're also doing, I'm bringing back an old series that I started, but, again, sorry for the sniffing and snorting, um, my god, so deep, I'm so scared. This is one thing that always bugs me in these sandbox games. I always expect like some jumbo ass huge fish to come up and eat me. Play Mario 3. Alright, so um, as I was saying, cooking channel. So a monthly recipe, dessert recipe, um, and bring back sandwich Sundays. And it's going to work in one of two ways. One, we go out and find uh, sandwiches or burgers or whatever. Because technically a hamburger is a sandwich. And, and for those who don't agree with me, you're dumb. I'm sorry, but it is. It's exactly what it is. Oh, a burger has cooked meat on it. So, so does that mean that, like, all the roast beef sandwiches that you've ate as a kid, all that beef was raw? Because then you're just contradicting yourself. Anyways. Uh, for sandwich Sundays, we're going to do it one of two ways. One, we look at, we go out to, like, say, McDonald's or wherever and find a new sandwich or burger that they have. Tell you what we think of it. Enjoy it. And then we're going to try and go home and, um, I'm thinking we're going to try and go home and, and make it ourselves. Our own version. See if we can make it taste just as good or possibly and, and hopefully better. So that, that way you guys will be like, hey, why should I go get a new sriracha Excuse me. Uh, this is what I get for for recording first thing in the morning so early. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to try a sriracha burger from McDonald's because I've already found out that the old world gamers are okay, but making them his way, they're supposed to taste even better. So then they try that and they're all like, yeah, best day ever, eating sriracha burgers and they're homemade. Get the f get him away, stupid cow. <clears throat> so, yeah, uh, I was going to get some wood, and then I heard uh, some zombies, and I ran immediately. So I'm going to try getting some wood over here, because we need more. So yeah, so that's basically how Sandwich Sunday is going to work. Um, again, I'm kind of excited for just getting this all straightened up, to be honest. It, it's going to be nice to have content on a regular basis again. I'm sure a lot of you can probably say the same thing to people who've watched me for probably the longest. So, And again, uh, I, don't, I don't think people realize that. I, I say it as if, like, oh, the same five people always watch... I appreciate the shit out of those five people because they're the ones that actually care the most about my content and, uh, and they're the ones that give me the most hope that I can keep going and keep doing better and they're the ones that made sure that I'm still here. If I had been getting one or two um, video views on my, on my main channel even, I probably would have quit YouTube a long time ago. Either that, or I would have started a new channel and just not let anyone know about it and just uploaded stuff for the sake of uploading stuff. But, uh, but yeah, so I do thank you guys for that. And, uh, sorry, I, I got right out of explaining what I'm doing with my channels and stuff. So, on this channel, the Old World Gaming uh, mul Multiplayer or Minecraft channel, um, I've only got three um, series that I'm going to be doing on it. Possibly four, possibly five, eventually. And I'll explain that. Um, so basically, uh, we're going to be doing this, Quest of the Firelands, because, as I said, people enjoy learning a little bit more about me, and I'm cool with that. I like it. Uh, the other thing is we're going to continue doing, and I know it hasn't been going up often recently, um, the old world, the, the modded Minecraft server. Uh, we're going to be doing that one. Um... And we're going to continue on with it. Me and Stu. I think Chester's going to get in on it. Uh, Steve is coming back. Um, for for the, all of those who know, me, me and Steve have talked to each other. And uh, we've gotten things mended once again. And I, I think it's... Again, see, this is the thing with friends. Is that real friends you will have arguments with. You're going to... It's going to happen. And, and 
they know how to deal with you and you know how to deal with them and you know you, you kind of have your own ways of dealing with stuff <laughs> So he's going to be joining us for that. Uh, another series that I'm going to invite anyone to come play. They don't necessarily have to come with us to defeat bosses. Because you can defeat bosses on your own whenever you want kind of thing as well. But Starbound. Um, me and Stu and Chester are currently in a, uh, a game of Starbound. We also have Nostalgia. But, uh, I haven't really decided what we're doing with that yet. But uh, I'll figure it out. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be doing Starbound, which uh, is awesome. It was only just newly updated or whatever. And uh, the two hopefuls, the first one being more hopeful than the other, Ark. Uh, I'm not sure, because again, it's been so long since I recorded the last one. But I, I can't remember if I mentioned to you guys that um, I've been playing a crap ton of Ark. And basically, um, they just updated Arc. And uh, I'm actually thinking about playing the new updated version. Oh, okay, that's pretty good right there. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Hops, where are you, bud? Come over here. All right, we are locked in. Let's get rid of these. All right. Later, buddy. I will see you in the next episode. Kind of. Here we go. Okay, so, um, yeah, ARC. Uh, they recently had an update for a new version of ARC, which, um... Oh, let me get some coal here while we're at it. Uh, which basically is called Scorched Earth. No, Jacques, don't get excited. Scorched Earth, not the tank game. The actual expansion for ARC <laughs> is called that. Um... And the reason I say that is because I, I, I owe Jacques a video about Scorched Earth versus Pocket Tanks, a, a game I grew up or went to college and played. Or anyways, um, anyways, I'm still not finished talking about what I was talking about, which was what else is going on in the channel. So yeah, Scorched Earth. Um, we're thinking about doing that because we're gonna have to start over a new map. Excuse me, and it's a whole new world that even the other players who've been there for a while haven't played on either. So that's kind of exciting. Um, the last hopeful that we have, uh, or that I have, on the list, <laughs> oh, wait, uh, is, what's the, uh, Pixelmon, sorry, <laughs> uh, basically, uh, I'm thinking about, uh, continuing with uh, Pixelmon, we, I know we haven't done it yet, per se, but uh, I wanted to do it so that, uh, because I enjoy playing it. Uh, a lot of people enjoy Pokemon, a lot of people enjoy Minecraft. So why not do it all, more or less? So that, that was my thought on that. But right now, it's, it's more or less getting the time and figuring out how we're going to do it. Are we going to try and use our custom map? Are we going to just use a map that's already made? Are we going to play a Minecraft map where there's nothing around whatsoever? I don't know yet. The last thing uh, is my own channel, and uh, again, it's getting late out there, so I want to wrap this up pretty quick. The podcast is coming back, Indie Pixels with Stu, possibly Steve as well. Old World Gaming for reviewing older game retro games. New World Gaming for reviewing newer like indie games. We have Game and Chat with pretty much anyone who wants to just play games with me and chat about stuff. Uh, there's also Game and Chat with Robin, so there will be that uh, regularly. Um, my collecting series called Retro Relics, that is going to be once a month. Um, we also have streams, which will be happening every Sunday. There will be LP requests, meaning that, um, if someone requests an LP, like I just mentioned Jacques not too long ago, he requested that I do a, uh, an LP for a game that he wants me to play, so I'm doing it. Uh, the last two things that we have on the list, that I have on the list here for my uh, shows, is Nintendo Quest and Amazing Arcade. And that's basically, uh, Nintendo Quest is we're going to play 
every single game made for the Nintendo NES and the Famicom. And there's a lot. And I mean a lot. I have, as far as I know, from what I can tell in my folder, I have pretty much every game that was ever made as a ROM. Meaning um, the full, complete licensed library, the unlicensed games, translated games. Um, there's uh, releases only in Australia, Europe, Brazil. There, there's, there's more or less, there's a lot of games out there that we can be doing. So... <laughs> Um, so yeah, and then Amazing Arcade is the same type of thing. We're just going to be looking through arcade games and seeing what we like because that will allow people to give me more LP requests so that they can be like, hey, that one game, Wampum, on Nintendo Quest that you played there a couple weeks ago looks super amazing and interesting. I would love to see you LP that. And then I do. I'm not saying that... Anyways... I'm going to end it here because I have to, well, I have to end the episode. We've been down here for a while. It's going to be daytime soon. So, anyways, as always, thank you all for watching. I'm Stephanie Old World Gamer, and I will see you all next time for more Quest of the Far Lands. Good, good night? I'm so scared of zombies. I am a zombie.